All right, folks, um, I'm back, and it's probably going to be the last video in this series. Um, now we're, we're going to talk about uh, a really cool feature, uh, and that's voice control. Um, you know, that was one of the things uh, with head units that I really didn't want to give up, but I could if I could get into a better system here like I've got. Uh, but incidentally, uh, this year, uh, two of the biggest uh, navigation uh, head unit manufacturers in the country uh, knocked voice control off their units, um, whereas they had it every year prior to now. So that's just another example of uh, we had it last year and then we, we knocked it off this year and a lot of people weren't happy with that. Uh, well, I've got voice control on here. Uh, you're not supposed to have it on the iPad. Again, there's, there's a couple of installs that you have to do through Cydia on a jailbroken iPad to get it. But I've got it and it works very well and I'm going to demonstrate it now. Pandora. There you go. Navigon. So clearly you can see the benefit of that. If I'm driving down the road and I need to switch apps, um, you know, uh, th that is very beneficial uh, to be able to, to do that. Um, so I'm enjoying that very well. Next, I want to show you the Yellow Pages app and how the Yellow Pages app has voice control built in that actually links straight to Navigon. Um, so I've actually got voice control over my navigation. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Hold it a little bit too long. Yellow Pages. All right, so this is a really cool feature. Uh, I'm going to hit the little microphone button here. Listening. Applebee's. Done listening. All right, as you can see, it gives me the list of uh, of different uh, different Applebee's uh, restaurants. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one right here. Going to hit this button right here. And there's a link straight to Navigon. Now, I, I've got the Navigon app open in the background. You don't have to have it open. You just hit Navigon. It will launch Navigon and go straight into a route planner. At which I can hit start navigation. And hit start navigation again. It's checking for traffic. And there's not going to be any. There you go. I've got a route to wherever I want to go, all by using voice control, all with an iPad. Um, something that you now you can't get on a navigation head unit as of this year. And it's, you know, people question as to whether it worked very well to begin with or not. So anyway, guys, I hope that these videos have been informative to you guys. Anybody thinking about doing an iPad install but was concerned about how to do it, uh, how to integrate it, uh, how much it would cost. Um, you know, you, you got to look at if, if you're going to buy a $1,500 head unit, um, if you've got half of this stuff, um, if you don't have the iPad but you've already got an amp in your car, um, you know, why pay $1,500 for a head unit that's limited, that's going to have bugs? that's going to have some some issues with it that by design that just boggle your mind. Why did they do it this way? It doesn't make any sense. When you can get uh, a tablet device 
which is going to do a lot better job. And again, you know, I'm, I'm very pro Apple. I think the iPad's the best tablet. Um, but, um, you know, there's a lot of Android, Android folks out there. There's a lot of uh, really good, decent Android tablets out there that are good as well that, that should, you know, kill any head unit that's on the market. So, uh, certainly think about this. Um, I don't know what kind of limitations uh, Android uh, tablets might have. I, I can't imagine they'd be very many, especially if you're doing it over Bluetooth audio. There's really no connection. You have to worry about no proprietary connection. Um, so, you know, it's it's certainly something to think about, folks. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're in the market for a $1,500 or $1,000 head unit, really give this some consideration. Uh, because, you, you know, you can always upgrade this more and more and more. You know, I, like I said, I've got Navigon on here, and I think it's the best navigation app. But I've also got Garmin, and I've also got Co Copilot Live. I've also got iGo Primo. Um, I've got about five or six navigation apps that I've tried over the last year before I settled on the one that I want. You can't, you can't do that with a head unit. You're stuck to whatever garbage navigation comes on the unit. If you've got one from a manufacturer that has garbage navigation, um, you know, and, and, and that's it. And, uh, you know, there's XM radio, there's Sirius radio. You don't have to buy a tuner. Um, and then have it installed and pay somebody to do that or break your back doing it yourself. You just install the app and you're ready to go. Um, you know, for, for the folks that have to have a CD or DVD slot or an FM AM tuner, okay, maybe this isn't for you. Honestly, I haven't listened to FM radio. I can't remember when, and I haven't touched a CD or DVD uh, in years. Any CD or DVD, I can get into my iTunes library and get on this iPad. I can put an HD movie on this iPad. You can't do that with any head unit right now, at least from the DVD slot. So, uh, you know, that that's not a concern. I really don't think it should be a concern for anybody else, uh, but that's up to you. So anyway, guys, look, if y'all have any questions or anything like that, post them to the, uh, to the video. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions that I've got or any suggestions of how I might can do this better or anything like that. I'm all ears. Uh, one last thing, uh, I do uh, want to give a, a plug out to my good friend Jason H. Uh, Jason H owns CarbonBumper.com, um, and he sent me this uh, this nice little bumper uh, to put on the back of the iPad to keep it from getting scratched up and all that. He is also the owner and admin of uh, AVIC 411. So uh, thanks a lot to uh, to Jason H. Any of you guys need any kind of vinyl covers or bumpers for your iPhone or your iPad or anything like that, uh, look him up, carbonbumper.com. Uh, he's a good guy, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really glad I was able to get this uh, in my hands here. All right, folks, thanks a lot. Have a good day.